Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing some jewelry um, and we're going to use some resin. We're going to do a few different things. Um, first things first is this is a skin. It is a dried paint that I peel off the bottom of my bin and uh, you can always like look at it and see which side you may or may not, not like, you know, better. And this is a circular hole punch. So I'm gonna go in here, see if you can see that. Make sure it's focused. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just hole punch out a circle. Yep, that one's pretty cool. It's got gold, blue, green, etc. in there. And then I have these different little things that I've got here. Um, I get mine from Craft Fantastic. You can get yours wherever. Um, and then I'm going to be using ice resin. It is specifically designed for jewelry. So I've already pre-mixed some and let it sit here for a bit. I think I'm going to put this one in here. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of resin in the bottom to help me push this in here. Try to push the edges in. And this really, how easy this is, is going to really depend on how thick your acrylic skin is. This one's pretty thick. So not as uh, easy as some other ones and we're just gonna let some put some resin on top and just let it sit it self levels so we're not gonna worry about that too much we'll set it aside um, I have another one here this is much much thinner you can see how it kind of wraps around my <laughs> hand there but I really liked it it's got tons of cool colors in it. Um, it also may depend on how old your skin is. Like that first one that I just did was pretty old. This is a newer skin. And I cut it out the best that I could into this shape. So. I had already pre-decided how I want this to go in here. Sorry guys, try and keep everything in the camera, keep it in focus. All right, I think that's fine for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more resin on top here. And then we're gonna just leave that alone. Um, cool, now I also wanna show you guys, I'm gonna do a mixed media one today um, and just Craft Fantastic, I love. They have so many different, like this is the, the clock one. Um, this is a key. And you don't have to use resin, by the way. Um, a lot of these come with glass domes also that you could use. So this is another one, a cute owl. Um, I am going to do the key here. And let me go ahead and zoom in see a little bit better so for this I'm using some um, scrapbook paper which once again I'll go ahead and use my hole punch go ahead and punch out I'm actually zoom out a little bit more here okay so for this I'm gonna take some distress ink and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just rough up the edges on this a bit. I really like steampunk. So kind of like things to look a little more distressed, I guess. I like that look. All right, go ahead and just set that in there. Press down the sides. 
Now there's tons of things you can use in here like glitters and whatnot. I actually have this really cute little heart that I'm going to use. So I'm not going to worry about centering it too much right now because the resin takes forever to set. So I can just put the resin in here and then move it around. And with the resin, it's important to put enough, but not too much. Because you don't want it going over the sides. So that should be fine. My hands look really big. And I'm just going to adjust this heart a little bit to get it to the spot that I want. I think that's good. So that will be really cute. As you can see, it looks already like it has like a glass dome on it. So once again, we'll set that aside. And I do have more resin here. So I think I'm gonna do one more. And I have, I like this skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another one out of here. And you know what might be cool with this one? We're gonna add a little bit of glitter. So, this is just silver glitter. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit. You can also mix glitter and colors directly into your resin. We'll go ahead and we'll let that one level out. All right, just for fun, we're going to do one more here. And we're going to use alcohol inks this time. Now, this is something I've never done. So, we're going to just go for it. <laughs> I'm going to put resin in here first. Well, that's just blending. I'm gonna put in some of this gold here. Well, that gold seems to be helping. Do you see it? See it moving around there? That's cool. I think I'm going to try to put another drop of gold in there. This thing seems to be a little bit clogged up. Oh, now it's not. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and drip a little more resin on top of this. Okay, I have no idea how that's going to look. So what we're going to do, we're going to let everything sit and settle. And level out and everything and then we'll come back in and we'll do our close-up over here are the three made with the skins on the right is when I put the glitter in obviously I love this one this is the one I did with alcohol inks it's interesting not sure if I even <laughs> did that right but it was a fun experiment and then this is the mixed media one which I love so there you go guys, these are some jewelry projects that you can do um, with resin or you can do any of these really without except for maybe the mixed media one. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.